Hello everyone, another fabulous video today. I'm doing shrimp curry served with a jasmine rice. Delicious. If you like the video, subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and don't forget to ring the bell. Okay, so today we're doing a black tiger shrimp with an Indian curry. Very simple to make. The secret, again, as usual, as all recipe, we want to make sure that we have our mise en place, everything ready to go. We're going to put broccoli in there. I got the broccoli already uh, uh, steamed and then placed in, uh, in ice water. So then I captured the nice color to it. And, uh, and they are already cooked, so we're going to put them toward the end of it. We're going to put them at the end. They are, um, uh, they are cooked already, right? So we're going to use black tiger shrimp. If you don't have black tiger shrimp, use whatever shrimp you can find. We'll remove the tail of it. We already cleaned them, but I'm going to do something even more than that. I am going to slice them completely in half, right? And you're going to say, why do you do that? Well, you see, look, just two perfect half, right? So you remove the skin, I mean the skin, the, t <laughs> the tail, and then you cut them completely in half. See, be careful when you do it. You want to make sure they're two perfect half, all right? And they're going to say, why is that? And you'll see what happened. What happened is when they cook, they're going to twist. Yeah, they're going to twist like this. And, uh, and they're going to get a much better, a much firmer texture. And it looks really, really cool on your plate. You'll see, a twist is really, really nice. All right? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on my heat. And I'm going to put a little bit of coconut oil Okay, so we're waiting for the oil to be about uh, 400 degrees. I got a little too much oil. I don't need that much at all. You need just a little bit of oil. Coconut oil has a nice uh, smoke point. 400, 450, depends which one you get. And, uh, and it's really, really important for this dish. First thing we're going to do is we're going to saute some onion. And uh, a diced onion. I put them a little too soon. <laughs> don't do what I did. <laughs> Wait a little bit. So when it's like that, you put them too soon, you put your, your, uh, oil, your oil was not hot enough, just wait a few seconds. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. So you don't want all of them to get the cold oil. We're going to wait until it's a little hotter, and then we're going to saute the onion, and then we're going to put the shrimp, and then we're going to put some um, uh, uh, cashews, coconut milk. We got an uh, Indian curry, uh, which is wonderful. You, that's something you're going to have to find in your grocery store. You'll find them. And um, you could use regular salt, but I have a spicy curry salt. I like to have spicy salt. They're wonderful. And then we're going to put a little bit of sriracha to give it a little bit of heat. All right? Now, you got to watch it. If your curry is already spicy, you may want to skip the heat. All right? And then we're going to put a bit of chicken stock. See right now? We finally are hot. So we're going to saute the onion so they get a little sweeter, huh? And we want to do this before, remember, I put a little more on your Here you go. Carefully measure everything. Eh? <laughs> you notice I don't measure very much, but if you go to our website, you'll get a perfectly written recipe, and you can get, and you can do it. But it's very simple. Eh? The secret is to make sure everything is measured, ready to go. And remember, the onion always goes first. I mean, there's, there's hardly any recipe where you do not put the onion first. And they're always by themselves, so you can caramelize them, you can cook them, so they get sweeter. And, uh, and they cook, you know, and the shrimp is not going to take that long. So, well, and we want to make sure we don't overcook the shrimp, that's why you got to have everything ready to go. Okay, because if you don't have everything ready to go, then you, uh, you overcook the shrimp or your dicing thing. That's why you don't start cooking until you have your mise en place. Remember that, it's very much one of the most important things. You know... I've taught thousands of people how to cook. I've been doing this 54 years. And, uh, and let me tell you, one of the most important lessons that everybody tells me they love, they learn, and they do it all the time is mise en place. They do not start cooking until everything is chopped and diced and ready to go. It's called mise en place. Make sure you do that. All right? Now, this dish right here, friends. Now, you know, if, um, if you're in May, June, July, and sometime even August, you can use Vadalia onion. Because Vadalia onion are, are, are much sweeter than a regular Spanish or a regular white onion. And, uh, and you don't need to worry too much about sauteing them because they're so delicious. I don't know if you've ever had a Vadalia onion, but you can actually put it in your mouth and bite like you do an apple. 
Yeah, Vadalio onion, that, that's sweet. That's the only one you can do that way. Don't do that with a regular Spanish onion. Not so good. Okay, the onions are cooked. Now we're going to take a shrimp that already been cut in half. And we're going to put them in here. Just like that. All right, let me do the whole thing. All right. I got my wet rag here so I can wipe my hand. We got to make sure we don't burn anything. Now you watch what's going to happen with the shrimp. When you're cooking the black tiger shrimp, they turn this beautiful white pink. White pink. <laughs> white uh, b flesh with a pink outside. Um, by the way, if you can't get the, uh, the black tiger, see if the fish market you're shopping at as blue Mexican. The blue Mexican shrimp is very firm and it's very sweet. We get them every so often here. And they're really, really delicious. When my fishmonger, I, I, um, I shop on, in Fort Lauderdale, we have a, an amazing fishmonger. It's called the Fish Peddler. And let me tell you, they have amazing, and they have the, the blue Mexican shrimp. Not everybody got them, but if you can't get black tiger, get blue Mexican. If you can't get blue Mexican, get pink or white shrimp. It doesn't matter. Pick whatever makes you happy. So... You see, we're starting to get some color. Now, I like cashews in my shrimp. You don't like cashews, just don't put them in. And those are blanched cashew. All right. All right, so, and you know, by the way, I keep my nuts in the freezer. All my nuts, I keep them in the freezer. <laughs> you should do the same. They're much, much, otherwise they get rancid. If you keep a nut like this in a, in a, in a, in a cupboard, in the kitchen, they're gonna get rancid. You put them in the freezer, 17 years later, they're still nice. <laughs> so it's really, really important to keep them in a the freezer. Keep your nuts in a freezer. <laughs> That's a good one. So here we go, folks. Look, we're getting there. We're getting there. See, the onions are nice and caramelized. I'm making sure they don't burn. But I like. Oh, oh I'll show you. Show you what I like. i show you. Show you. Show you. Hold on. Hold on one second. Let me see. Let me see if I just... There you go. See, see, right there? I don't know about you, but right there, right there, right there. That, that right there, I love the way the shrimp is, um, is you can see it, right? It's a light, lightly golden brown. Oh, yep, shrimp escaped. This look, look how fresh they are. They come out of the wok. <laughs> there we go. Keep, keep, keep mixing everything. All right. You can add a snap piece to this. You can add a bunch of stuff to this. Now, when are the shrimp ready? The shrimp are ready. Only when there's, uh, they're not transparent anymore. We don't want to overcook them. Be careful. You see the way I'm constantly mixing. Constantly mixing. Because I don't want anything to burn. If you could be here and smell, it smells delicious. Time for the curry. All right, so we're going to put our curry right on top, just like this. Maybe a little bit more. Remember, that's something you're going to have to play with. Look, I lost another nut. <laughs> so here we go. We're almost there. You see? We're almost there. It smells amazing. I like to really um, saute the, um, the, the, the curry by itself before I put any liquid. That gives me a nice, that releases all the fragrance of the spices that are in the curry. I can, uh, I can uh, 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 taste the coriander in there. I can smell it. The cumin, I can smell it. It's really, really, really wonderful. We're almost there, friends. We're almost there. See, it's looking beautiful. I want to make sure there's still a little bit of transparency, but it's okay. Now what I'm going to do, friends, I'm going to put my chicken stock. You see, I like to keep a pot of chicken stock on the stove. It makes it really easy, doesn't it? You see? Right? So then you don't measure, right? Then we're going to put a little bit of coconut milk. Measure carefully. <laughs> Some of you are going to, the recipe police are there on YouTube are going to say, he's not measuring anything. That's okay. You want a recipe? Go on our website. We'll give it to you, friends. We don't worry about it. Remember, it's not rocket science. They're not sending a man on the moon. <laughs> we are just making a little ch uh, shrimp curry. A child could do this. All right? So now, we're going to put our broccoli. Remember, the broccolis are cooked. They're cooked. So all we got to do is just get them hot. You see? All we got to do is get them hot. 
And all we're going to do now, we're going to thicken it lightly with a little bit of cornstarch. Here's my cornstarch. Right there, because again, it's a little too thin. You see, friends, it's a little too thin. It's just a little too thin. So when you make it a cornstarch, you put it, make the cornstarch, you put it together. Be careful. If you let it set, set, if you let it set for a while, it's going to thicken, and the cornstarch is going to fall on the bottom. So just put a little bit. Be careful. Very little. See what happened. Put a little bit first. And then see what happened. Don't go out there and put in too much cornstarch. I mean, worst case scenario, you put too much cornstarch. Um, all you got to do is just add a little more stock. Let me just put a little bit more. See, I want it to be the right consistency. Remember, texture is flavor. If I give it to you too thick, if I give it to you too thin, the idea, let me tell you about the idea here. How, how do we know if it's thick enough? You want it, the sauce to be on top of the shrimp. You see? You want the sauce to be on top of the shrimp, so every time you have a bite of a shrimp or, or a broccoli, you have it, you have the sauce with it, you see? You don't want the sauce in the bottom. A little bit more, a little bit more, just a little bit more. Sometimes it's just a little bit. That's like to make a perfect, you see? I like to make a perfect. Let's see, let's see what we got. You watch, I'm going to put too much, and then I'm going to put, put more stock. No, I think I got a perfect right there, right there, you see? Beautiful. Now I'm going to test it. Before we finish it up, we have it. Oh, mamma mia, I forgot to put the salt, and I forgot to put the, um, the shiracha. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> Here we go, a little shiracha. Now, put as little or as much as you want. And for salt, friend, I'm using the uh, spicy curry salt. Put as much salt as you want. You know, food without salt is like a day without sunshine. It's like a great dinner without wine. It's like life without love. <laughs> okay, enough already. <laughs> ay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love my life. I love my life. I love the fact that I live in America. You know, I never take it for granted. God bless America. All right, here we go, friends. Let's see. Let's see. I can't believe it. I was going to forget everything. Ah, oh, mamma mia. Oh. Oh, yeah, baby. This is what I'm talking about right there. A little more salt, and it is amazing. All right, friends, I'm now going to plate it. We're gonna, um, we made a beautiful uh, uh, jasmine rice. We're gonna put it in a plate and, and uh, we're gonna serve it, okay? We'll be right back plating it. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little bit of rice. We use a rice cooker, it just makes it easier. Uh, and, and I'm gonna make the plate look kind of cool. Okay, we're going to put our rice in the middle, right? You can put more rice, obviously, or you can just forget about uh, doing what I'm doing now and serve it by putting the rice in the bottom of the plate. And it'll be perfectly fine. And then what I like to do, obviously, I put a little bit some on the side. That's what happened, but it doesn't matter. This is, uh, there you go. And then we put this right on there. To pack the rice a little bit so it looks nicer right all right now we're going to take a dish all right what i'm going to do now is uh, i'm going to play the, to make a nice presentation but again that's something you see look 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 how cool the shrimp are you see see what right you see you test them you're going to love them so you can put them however you want to put them in there i kind of like to organize them a little bit so it looks a little nicer than just throw it in there but um Sometimes if I'm really hungry, that's what I do. <laughs> I just throw them in there, okay? So we're going to do this just like this, right? Right, just like this. And then we take a couple of pieces of broccoli. We put one over here. We put one over here. We put one over here. And then we put one over here. And then all of a sudden, we're turning a stir fry into a pretty dish, right? Now we're going to take some of that sauce. And uh, I got my spoon right over there. We're going to take some of that sauce and we're going to put it on top. See? Just like this. Okay. This is just to make a nice presentation. Eh? You can skip that whole thing if you don't want to. You can, uh, very, what a great appetizer, huh? If you want to make us a little appetizer, we're going to clean up the plate after because I'm making such a mess. Uh, clean up the plate, 
And then we're going to gently take our rice out. So all of a sudden, we are turning a stir fry into a pretty dish instead of just slapping it on there. Okay, so clean up the plate. You can put a little more sauce if you like. Just make sure you don't mess it up because it needs just a little bit more sauce. Okay, here we go. Very easy to do. You try it. Make it a little more elegant. And don't forget, ring the bell. And it gives us thumbs up if you like the recipe. And uh, try the next recipe. All right, enjoy it. <laughs>